always got to have one kind of sort of raw, if not completely raw, and then one nice, yummy, crunchy, soft, whatever the case is, tempura style. I think that that is my idea of balance, yin and yang. Tokyo, a drifting into my mouth. <sighs> <laughs> Like, how awkward is it that I'm like eating sushi on a windowsill right now? That's the thing that I'm practicing is not caring <laughs> about what people think. So, perfect. This is a perfect thing to be doing right now in order to practice such, you know, lifestyle and mind frame. <clears throat> I really see, look, I still need to work on strengthening my throat chakra because I'm just not getting the words out properly. And being a better version of myself for my children and for their children and for my self and for my dog, bro. this problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe I could use Mitzi for me hey hey y'all mum 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 I am going to be eating sushi I'm a solo sushi date it's my day off I ordered from Miyabi sushi in Houston Texas and I my boyfriend and I have actually ordered quite a few times from them and they are always amazing, um, great choices. I am always super satisfied whenever we order in from them. So I am going to go ahead and unravel everything one by one. One second. I think my son is playing with the dog cage again. Just one second. Everybody's deal, man. Like, try to turn on the camera, and everybody's like chaotic energy. I'm kidding. Okay. Hello, I'm Lizzie. Bless you. Uh, I didn't know this was going to be an ASMR video. Like, that was not my intention. Also, as you can see, my back, bless you. Also, as you can see, my background is like super kids roomy. Um, I'm actually meaning to teach the kids minimalism and completely get rid of all the random clutter that we just do not need. Um, we're gonna donate a bunch of clothes. We're going to just get rid of stuff that is not aesthetically pleasing and completely unnecessary. Ugh. I've been doing therapy once a week and I've been really trying to educate myself about each and every chakra and getting them balanced and whatnot. Looks like they hooked it up. That's soy sauce, not a fan. Looks like they hooked it up with some eel sauce. That's how you know it's eel sauce because it's takes a little longer to reach the other side of the container. Always be ordering extra ginger, my favorite. So this is the, da 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 da. I believe that this is, oh no, the Mount Fuji roll. Yes, because it's orange. And I noticed that Mount Fuji rolls are a little bit different depending on where you order from. Um, the Miyabi sushi version is just this sweet, cute, simple, orange, spicy mayo. 
I can actually read off the ingredients. Stop being lazy. Give me just a sec. Give me just a second. So I ordered as Masago. It's roll baked style. And da 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 da. Inside of it, it is smoked salmon, avocado, jalapeno, and the delectable, vibrant orange sauce that you can see is spicy mayonnaise. And then, of course, one of my favorites from Miyabi, Fo Show. Without a doubt, is the Tokyo Roll, which is tempura style. And that one basically has, I know that it has imitation crab, um, jalapenos. <sighs> Ooh, my favorite. Okay, so the Tokyo Roll has everything I need in a relationship. Um, it has the eel, it has the cream cheese, it has the avocado and the eel sauce. Girl. That's all I need. And I am actually eating on top of my boyfriend, one of my boyfriend's creations. Gonna put the link in the bio, of course. Um, he made this and he gave it to me because he's dope as hell. He always be like romantic, showing his forms of intimacy with like giving me charcuterie home, giving me handmade charcuterie boards, like dream come true. Yes. Can you even see the food, y'all? Like, for God's sake. That would be ideal, right? Doggo's gonna hang out in the back. Be silly goose. Like always. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the... The Mount Fuji. You can't see that, can you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. I strongly recommend the Tokyo Roll, dude. I love ordering sushi rolls that are named after other countries or islands because it feels like I'm on vacation for real. Huge fan of dipping ginger inside eel sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's just one thing after another. <laughs> um, you know, but luckily 11, 11, 20 went down the other day and I already feel like things are turning around. <laughs> beginning of a new millennium or century or whatever um i'm gonna put some ginger on top of this gorgeous oh fuji roll again cheers for staying hydrated, to staying hydrated. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> um, I don't know. 
if any of you are super familiar with like chakras and cleansing them and balancing them but I've been super intrigued by it lately and by lately I mean within the last couple days um I have been working on cleansing my chakras because I truly believe that I have been blocked for several months on end which are contributing to a ripple effect of me just not being myself and being able to handle any of the things that come my way and like you and anybody else that's alive on this planet currently it feels like it doesn't just feel like there's constantly something coming our way and the only thing that we can control is how we compose ourselves and how we handle it and a lot of the time it feels like how do we do that what do i believe in does any of this matter um you know like, how do I stop disassociating and focus and appreciate the little things? Mm. I would love anything with cream cheese in it. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm going to take a Mount Fuji. I think I'm neglecting this eel sauce so hard. Oopsie. Oopsie. Very good. Very good. Mmm, I love seared salmon, especially when it's just like super soft and moist in your mouth, bro. Mmm. My kids are finishing up online school right now. <sighs> and then I'm going to hopefully like mass clean, mass love myself and mass just radiate love around me constantly and I need to actually oh, somebody's walking their dog out here <clears throat> hopefully they don't see me they're actually my neighbor from across the way <sighs> awkward anywho what the hell was I saying Ooh, oh yeah um I actually uh organized my grocery list based on what foods feed each chakra <laughs> so like i believe with your sacral chakra it's like red foods spicy foods and things like that and i love me some jalapenos i love me some red bell peppers strawberries are dope <laughs> I'm super excited to try it out. I mean, generally, it's a lot of the same stuff. It's just that, like, organizing, categorizing, and prioritizing. And I really think that chakra or no chakra, um, I'm keeping it minimal and actually just focusing on what enriches my body and feeds me generally like keeps me healthy and energized and not you know foods that aren't going to like put me into a whirlwind of brain bloated brain fog you know like basically all food within the standard american diet i'm actually considering going like paleo keto that's probably definitely not how you pronounce that I mean of course with the exception of sushi because that's just ridiculous like I'm not going to sacrifice that ever
It's like my first glass of water all day long. You guys dare me to dip this wasabi in this heel sauce? Ooh, whoopsies. Bro, I can hang. But I wasn't trying to get it like a runny nose on camera just now. <clears throat> Woo! Chill. Stop bullshitting. Okay. I'm really excited about the chakra grocery list. I'm really excited about practicing assertive and healthy communication and advocating for myself and my children and drawing boundaries. And the reason why I say that is because I just left a great successful therapy session that I did not cry during. Teared up a little bit. <clears throat> but, you know, last week's session, I was literally bawling literally making breakthroughs and what i love about my therapist i actually do better help i don't know if you've run across it or anything but i love doing better help not just because it's convenient for me don't have to waste any gas but i also it's a little bit less social anxiety for me um it's just especially with you know the social distancing aspect and covid and stuff it's really nice to just be able to like Sorry about that. My damn memory card is full again. Okay. <clears throat> Anywho, I what I love about like BetterHelp and things. I sound like I'm advertising for them or something, but like I tell all my friends, call my friends, my coworkers, anybody I really interact with, um, and then this subject comes up. I'm like, it's awesome because. If you get matched with a therapist that just isn't working out for you, it just isn't to your liking, whatever the case may be, you can always rematch. It's not that big of a deal. I started doing um, the phone therapy like perhaps two or three months ago, maybe four. <coughs> Excuse me. And I was originally matched with a woman um, that, you know, she had great listening skills, always listening to me talk, um, maybe giving me like one or two lines of feedback though. Like what I really wanted was a balance of give and take of not just being heard and listened to. I also needed like to be offered, um, legitimate advice and like coping skills to act on in my personal everyday life. Like those are like essentially that's why I signed up for therapy and I really need more feedback than that. And I noticed that like two out of the three therapists I've had in my life within the last year have been more of just listeners and not so much, uh, you know, able to give me true feedback. And I finally matched so i rematched no personal no dig at her or anything i rematched and i feel so grateful that i did because i matched with like a much older man and he just seems like i was reading his bio and and from the get-go i was like i just had a good feel like i felt like everything that he mentioned from his perspective to the experience that he had i just felt like he truly resonated with me and I was super excited to, you know, get to know him and talk to him and pick his brain. And sure enough, the vibe I got from him initially w was spot on. Like, we have weekly 30-minute sessions. And, I mean, I feel like I have a breakthrough, like, each and every session. Like, each and every fucking session. For real, for real. Mmm. Sometimes, you know, with therapy, it makes you feel like shit because you're breaking a hard shell open and some, sometimes it's more of like a green, icky, snotty goo that comes out. And sometimes it's kind of like a yummy Cadbury Easter egg, just like 
lava molten cake chocolate yummy ooey gooeyness you know it just depends but you know fortunately but unfortunately you have to deal with both like you need some adversity in your life in order to be a decent seasoned human fucking being you know this is really good guys I'm really glad you're here with me right now. I'm really grateful. Ooh. I've been feeling like shit for months on end. Just so completely unsure of myself. So, mm, so susceptible, so irritable, so vulnerable. Constantly so incredibly low vibrational at best <clears throat> and i know it's only been a couple days since starting the chakra cleansing sequences but just like these baby steps that i'm taking are going such a long way like i noticed the colors and the leaves i noticed the just When my boyfriend holds me, I can soak him all in again. It's almost like I've been asleep for a year. <clears throat> and it's fall again. And it's like, where was I this whole time? And I know, I just, I'm really happy that I'm putting the work in. And if you're putting the work in or you're thinking about it, like, I think that is so strong, you know? We're so conditioned to think that we should just pretend like everything is fine and keep up with appearances and that is just such horse shit. Have any of you guys done some fun, any fun fall activities? Whoa. Mmm. I wanted to taste like the spicy mayo. Like all throughout the roof of my mouth and I did. Ooh, so good. If any of you guys are in therapy, um, how do you guys like your therapists? Like, do you love them? Are they okay? Are you thinking about switching? Do you not agree with therapy? Or do you just kind of need that, like, push to make the first step into it? And if so, <clears throat> what are some small things that you're working on? Like for me, I am working on assertive communication, self-acceptance, healthy boundaries, both generally and emotionally. <clears throat> I'm definitely a combination of rigid and porous boundary-wise. More so porous. If I feel in any way comfortable with you or connected with you or just anxious socially, I might overshare. But I'm also rigid where I isolate myself and I am not good at nurturing friendships. And so I like build up these walls. Uh, excuse me. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, guys. Last two bites. So yummy, Tokyo, 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 Tokyo. When you take a second to let each and every ingredient touch every wall of your mouth, whoo, that's when you know you're living. This sushi is going to nourish my body just right. I'm going to say it again. 
this sushi is going to nurture and nourish my body just right. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, we love y'all, and I, mm, oh, I know it's been weird. I'm weird. You know, we, I love, uh, mm, I, thank you for either following me on my journey or accompanying me right now. I just want, or maybe this, I'm just not for you and that's totally cool too um I get it sometimes I'm not even for myself <laughs> just kidding accurate um I just want you to know that I really appreciate you and I I'm really glad that we're able to spend this time together I hope that you're having an awesome end of the year I hope that you have so many things to look forward to and if you're not sure if you do, just remember to zero in, remind yourself of your mortality because the more you remind yourself of your mortality, um, the more the superficial and trivial become so important to you, trivial, the more Mm, the less the superficial becomes so trivial to, trivial to you and the trivial seems less superficial to you essentially it's something about getting your priority straight and that's not always defined the same to each and every person so make sure that you're living your life aligned with what you truly think and believe is living your best life because nobody else is as worried about you as you think they are on a small end and large end spectrum which for me i find that truly comforting because that means i can act like a fucking idiot and <laughs> who's gonna give me a second thought who gives a shit i don't give a shit give me a second thought that's what's up but either way, I am learning and teaching myself to do me regardless. Regardless. And that is what I find empowering. Anyways, let me um, let you go. I know you got stuff to do. Um, but I had a really nice time. This is like been the first time I filmed one of these and I didn't overthink it. I just did the damn thing. And I'm telling you, it's all about cleansing your chakras. Cleanse your chakras. Let me chill. I'm going, like, what am I doing? Anyways, I hope that you have a blessed weekend. I truly do. I hope that whatever you're about to get into, I hope it is grand in the best of ways. Whew. Love you. Sending you love and light and some hands to raise that roof. Love you so much. I have things to do. So I'm going to stop now. I'm going to just uh, love you. Hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Blessed rest of your day. Oh God. I, I had a nice time. I hope you did too. So.